Back pain, neck pain is the commonest reason for a doctor's visit any time. As a neurosurgeon and a spine surgeon, my practice revolves around this spinal problems. One of the most confusing terminologies among patients and doctors is disc bulge. This is when I decided to make a separate video on this disc bulge. What is a disc bulge? What are the symptoms and how to treat this disc bulge? Spinal disc bulge. Let's discuss in this short video. Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Arun Naik from DocLogs channel, helping you to have dialogues with your doctor. I am a neurosurgeon and a health blogger. If you're new to the channel, please, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Our backbone is not a single bone. It consists of 33 separate bones stacked in a line from bottom to top. Two spinal bones are separated by what is called a spinal disc. These spinal discs are soft, foamy, cushiony substance that are actually a gel in health. This is our natural shock absorber, which takes all the brunt of our day-to-day -day spinal mobility, be it sleeping or playing. Our backbone is a highly, highly mobile structure, friends, and this mobility comes with a cost. This is due to excess mobility. The spinal discs can get dehydrated, dried and damaged. Once damaged, it may try to come out. This process is called a disc herniation. This consists of two parts. The outer tough membrane is called annulus and the central jelly material is called nucleus pulposus, the pulpy foamy disc. Now let's understand a few of the terminologies. Basically a disc bulge is a word used to describe findings seen on an MRI scan of your back. This is how our patients get this terminology from their radiology reports. This disc bulge is a highly confusing term because many doctors use this word loosely for many conditions. A disc bulge is a word commonly used to describe a slight bulging of the disc. So technically a disc bulge doesn't penetrate the ligament barrier that separates the disc from the spinal canal. Bulging discs are often incidental findings on an MRI. As we age, disc bulges are commonly seen on MRI. That means mere finding disc bulges has definitely no significance as they may not be the cause of someone's back pain. Now, what are the symptoms of a disc bulge? Commonest symptom of disc bulge is, well, it's no brainer pain. The pain may be in the neck, back or low back depending on the location of the disc bulge. In the neck, the pain may radiate to your arm, forearm and hands. In the back, the pain may radiate to your shoulder blades and the chest. In the low back, the pain typically radiates down your butts to the back of the thigh, back of the knee and leg and to the source of the feet. The pain is excruciating neuropathic pain which is unbearable, often making even small movements impossible. Often the only way to relieve pain is to lie down on a bed. Next symptom is tingling numbness sensation, also called as pins and needle sensation. This is a sensory symptom, uh, more like a burning sensation in some patients. The tingling numbness sometimes leads to completely numb limb, which is not a good sign, friends. Now, when to consult a doctor if you have a disc bulge? In fact, back pain is one of the commonest reasons for a doctor's visit. When not to neglect your back pain? Friends, listen carefully. Any back pain which lasts for more than three weeks, don't neglect. Don't neglect your back pain if you have back pain and that pain goes to your butt or legs. Don't neglect your neck pain if that neck pain goes to your arm, forearm or hands. If your pain has a tingling numbness feeling in the involved leg or upper limb, your 
symptom is significant if your walking is becoming difficult if your footwear is slipping from your foot if you are passing urine in your clothes these symptoms if you neglect then there will be irreversible damage to your nerves and even if you take treatment your symptoms may last forever now how to diagnose a disc bulge i do a complete neurological examination to see if any muscle is weak depending on their condition i may ask for a few investigations number 1 nerve conduction test this is a simple neurophysiology test which allows us to measure conduction in your sciatic nerve if there is a delay that means your nerve is under pressure i may also ask for an x ray of the backbone or an mri scan which will tell me what is exactly causing the pain mri scan will tell us if the disc is bulging if the nerve is compressed or if how much the compression is depending on the severity we give the treatment mris are not perfect tests and the fact is they allow us to see a bulging disc but we often don't see more common muscle strain or ligament injuries actually the pain may not be originating from the bulging discs it may be from your muscles or ligaments of the back in fact the vast majority of cases the back pain or neck pain are due to muscular sprain strain and therefore treatment is often targeted at improving the function of muscles of the spine and the core that's why a mere finding of a disc bulge should not be considered serious one more thing the disc bulges are often a normal finding of an mri as we age mri appearances do change it's uh, very well known that some young people will often show abnormalities on mri scans that doesn't mean the abnormality is the cause of their pain it may be just a normal radiological finding for that individual and their pain may not be due to the bulging discs should you worry about a disc bulge a finding of a bulging disc is very common i see it very often in my patients who come to me with back pain and neck pain these bulging discs are very normal findings even in young active patients persons and they are merely a source of back pain on the other hand a significant disc bulge would be expected to cause leg pain as a result of irritation to the nerves going down the legs or the neck so most of the time bulging discs only tell you that your spine health is not optimum now how to treat bulging discs first things first main problem in bulging disc is pain i start with medications immediately to soothe the inflamed nerves and tense muscles this course lasts for about 3 4 weeks depending on the severity some local application gels give good relief of pain spinal arthrosis like neck collars and lumbar belts will restrict movements and give pain relief in some cases physiotherapy will definitely help in bringing down the pain and inflammation 95% of bulging discs respond well to these conservative methods about 5% of cases need some intervention to be done by neurosurgeons we may give epidural steroid injections in some cases but as a rule of the thumb surgery should not be offered to any patient diagnosed with a bulging disc then you may ask why surgery shouldn't be done for a bulging disc friends bulging disc is a normal finding on many mri scans often a bulging disc is not the culprit for the back pain in a given patient if we look around the backbone we may find the actual reason the root cause for the back pain it may be a facet joint issue maybe a muscle tear or maybe a ligament breakage or maybe a simple back sprain due to lifting a heavy weight in such situations i have seen patients undergoing surgery for the bulging disc with disastrous consequences not only will surgery be unnecessary the surgery will actually worsen the pain and make future life miserable for that patient i see this happening very often and this is a disturbing trend overall they say about 30 to 60% of spinal procedures done may not be actually necessary these unnecessary spine surgeries lead to a condition called failed back surgery syndrome which is very difficult to treat 
I have seen dozens of patients undergoing unnecessary spine surgeries and suffering from unrelenting back pain lifelong. And main reason for failed back surgery syndrome is incomplete evaluation of a patient and performing a disc surgery when the disc is not responsible for that pain. With that friends, we have come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching and hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, give me a big thumbs up. If you are new here, please, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon to get instant notifications of my new videos as I post. If you ever were diagnosed with a bulging disc, let us know what were the symptoms and how you got it treated. Go ahead and drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Let's discuss. Till my next one, feel awesome, live awesome and take good care of your health.